Everybody in the city was so excited to host us. Hundreds of Paralympic athletes planned to compete for their Team USA spot right here in Minneapolis. I personally was incredibly excited about that. COVID-19 interrupted those plans. This is supposed to be the year. This is going to be Tokyo. Aaron Pike was born in Hubbard County, Minnesota. He looked forward to competing in front of family. A little bit excited about being able to do that. He can still train outside. So can cyclist Clara Brown. Minneapolis, I was really, really looking forward to. She was supposed to race on West River Parkway for a spot on the road paracycling team. I feel pretty lucky that my sport was one of the least impacted. You know, I'm not a swimmer where I'm relying on a pool. As a swimmer, it's tough. Are we ready? Without a pool, but with help, you want me to start the clock? Mallory Wegman turned her garage into a gym. She even taped a black line to simulate the bottom of the pool. You know, we're making the most of it. She's used to adapting. Fortunately, as a Paralympic athlete, it is part of what we have to do. But the pandemic caused Mallory to change more than just her training. I really wanted to start a family after Tokyo. They postponed that plan, too. Well, it's a year that enormity felt so heavy in that moment, knowing that yet again it's going to get pushed off and we're going to continue to make that sacrifice for, for my career. The timeline might be uncertain, but the plan remains the same. Tokyo is still the ultimate goal. Now is not the time to let up. In Minneapolis, Aaron Adelson, CARE 11 News. Well, the head of the U.S. Paralympic Committee says they hope that the trials will remain here.